I'm a bit late with this video, but it had a good reason, because I didn't want to play the Indigo Disc the normal way. I wanted to beat the Indigo Disc with a team of only shiny Pokemon. That means a full team of 6. But we needed something to start with, so I prepared a specific Pokemon. Here's my journey through the Indigo Disc DLC with only shiny Pokemon. First I got a call from Clavel, who told me that he wants to send me away to the Unova region, as an exchange student to the Blueberry Academy. But since it's a only shiny run we needed a starter and I prepared a shiny that I hunted for before. Say hello to our shiny Diplin, Dippy. Yeah, I know, creative. So I kicked everyone else out of the party and off we go to the academy. We arrived at the academy but I was kicked out right away because you need two Pokemon. You know, in this academy every battle is a double battle. So I need another starter. So I took the legendary Bishop Hale from my video generating Pokemon that I have to shiny hunt for. If you want to check this out, link will be in the video description or on the top right of this video. But don't be scared, Bishop will be replaced later when I find more shinies and won't be used anymore. So we started our first battle and yeah, I was underleveled and lost this battle, so I will spare you with the details about this fight because it was one-sided. <laughs> first battle lost and trust me, from now on it will get only harder. <laughs> <laughs> so after I was completely destroyed, I got a school uniform and the blue style card. I was invited to the first lesson, but I had different plans, because I was in need of Pokemon. Shiny Pokemon. So I went to hunt for my first shiny of the Indigo Disc. And no friggin' way! <laughs> I just walked out of this entrance and right away, in an instant, this shiny Raihorn appeared. I guess it was fate. I called her Lucky. Should have called her fate, but oh well, missed opportunity. But instead of going to the lesson, I started exploring those new areas. And not long after, our Raihorn evolved into Raidon. I was checking out couple areas, and specifically the ice area mended good with us. After exploring around 30 minutes, I found this easy missable shiny. I wasn't sure first if she actually was a shiny. Good that I checked. I called her waifu, I couldn't think of a better name in this moment, I'm sorry. And moved on. So three members, I started grinding up my team a bit and evolved our waifu into my whip because I found the item randomly on the ground. Apparently you can't find all the evolution things for those Pokemon on the ground. Not gonna lie, she looks awesome. My original plan was to finally progress with the story, but I got sidetracked because I found the spawn of Duralodon and decided to hunt for it because it got a new evolution in this DLC. Oh, and Beldum can spawn here too, so I would be happy with either of them. Small foreshadowing. But I gave up after a couple of hours and decided to roam around the tropical area. And I saw something pink on the beach that doesn't belong here. A shiny slack of. That I evolved right away. So now finally with the fourth member I started the first lesson. Took me a while where I ran into this pink hair lady. The teacher told me to catch a regional form, but I won't count this as a team member. I only have to catch it because I have to. So I caught a Alolan Executor, one of the most hilarious Pokemon to ever exist. I mean, look at it. <laughs> I completed that task and now I got the Blueberry Points missions explained and Carmine asked to meet up. But I decided to collect first some Blueberry Points. Those were tasks like taking a picture of some swimming Pokemon and things like that. While doing that our Vigoroth evolved into Slacking. And honestly, this shiny looks bad. I wanted to replace it in the future anyway. Because of its ability, it will be annoying to play around. While I was exploring everything, I found out that you can buy sparkling power one food in the cafeteria. This will be really helpful for hunting shinies. Nice. So I bought it and was walking around for half an hour without finding any shinies and decided to meet up with Carmine, who wanted to battle me, of course, but I lost again and I can't progress until I beat her. I needed to get stronger. For sure, two battles lost, it cannot be. So I decided to grind and look for new team members. And after a while, I don't even know how long, because I already lost track of how long I was grinding, I found this crap. I named it Drank and evolved it right away. I went back, bought Sparkling Power 1 and did some shiny hunting. For nothing specific this time. And I actually found this fluff Swablu. This means we have now a full team of shinies. Am I happy with this team? Nope. But small spoiler, this team will change a bit over time. So I challenged Carmine again. Carmine sends out my TA92 cannon, 
I led with Drank and Slacking, and of course my Tiena intimidated both of my Pokemon, making them both weaker since they are both physical. I went for Toucanon with Ice Punch, and with Slacking I used Brick Break on my Tiena. Toucanon charged Beat Blast, and Slacking did a lot of damage to my Tiena, which used Hyper Fang on Drank, bringing it down to half. Drank took out Toucanon with one hit, nice, but in exchange it burned my Drank, making it kinda useless now. She sends in Scrafty, intimidating us again, okay now both of my Pokemon are useless, thanks, since they are both physical attacker. I used Close Combat on my Tiena and I picked a random move with Slacking since it cannot attack anyway. My Tiena hyperfanged again my Slacking, bringing it down to half, and Scrafty used Brick Break on Drank, finishing it off. I sent in Waifu and set it up a light screen for future special attacker, and attacked Scrafty with Slacking. Slacking's Giga Impact, only bringing it down to half, sadly. My Tena tried to hyperfang Slacking, I guess, or I don't know, because this attack failed, no idea what happened. Anyways, Scrafty used Brick Break on Slacking, who is just tanking hits at this point. Next round, I use Dazzling Gleam on both and Slacking is useless and is finished off by Crunch anyway. Scrafty used Brick Break on Waifu destroying my Light Scream, thanks, but Waifu the star player finishing off both. I sent in Altaria and she sends in Sinistra and terrestrialized it right away and used Hex on Altaria, doing half. I used Psyshock and Acrobatics on it, bringing it down to around 40%. I used the same again, she used Hex finishing off Altaria, so I decided to send in Dippy and use Psyshock and Pollen Puff. Finishing Sinistra off and winning this fight, finally. After that Kirin was revealed and he seemed to be a total jerk and right after that I met Drayton who wanted to show me the league room or something, I don't know. And there he explained to me the ranking system and that I can send others BP to get rewards. This will be useful in the future. For now I got two new throwing styles, cool. And on top of that we got the super cat charm and an outfit, a lot of stuff. And that's not all, I got invited to a date. What an awesome day. I got a new goal. This goal was to farm 3000 BP so I can hunt for starters. But first I wanted to meet with Carmine. There she told me that she's scared of Kirin because since Kitakami he changed. So we have to beat his ass. I changed my clothes and went to my date with Drayton. He told me that I should try to beat the Elite 4 and then Kirin appeared. He recognized us and said that he will defeat everyone and left. So it's time to register for the Elite 4. I wanted to pick Drayton as the first Elite 4 member because he will give me the TM that can evolve Diplin. But before I can battle him, I had to do some kind of gym challenge. I had to defeat 3 people with only Pokemon caught from this area. So bye bye Diplin. After defeating all of them, I needed to rebuild my team. Because I think I stand no chance against Drayden. So I went for hunting again. And I finally could replace Slacking because... Yeah, I finally found Duraludon. And on top of that, not long after that, I found a shiny Beldum as well. I will take them. Yeah, I use Master Ball on this Beldum because it has a catch rate of a legendary. Don't judge. So I leveled them up, evolved them and tried Drayton again. Okay, Drayton sends out Dragonite and Flygon. I sent out Drank and Waifu. Drank takes out Flygon with Ice Punch. Drayton sends out Hexorus and I retrieved Waifu and sent out House. I don't know why, but I did that. Hexorus takes Drank down with Earthquake. I chose Lucky to be the next one. House took down both with Breaking Swipe. Drayton sends out Kingdar and Sceptile. I retrieved Lucky, no idea why I did that, and sent out Lex instead. What was a mistake because Kingdra takes it out with Hydro Pump. Lex is Dippy, our Diplin, which is also taken out right away with Ice Beam. Last one standing is Wife, which I terrestrialized. She takes out both with Dazzling Gleam. Go get it, girl. I got DTM and finally could evolve Dippy into Hydreplin, and it looks Awesome. Okay, as the next member I picked the steel type, but like always I had to do a challenge. In this challenge I had to do a small flying parkour which was actually really fun. So now it's time to challenge Amaris. She sends out Ductrio and Skarmory, I start with Lex and Floof. Ductrio takes out Lex with Earthquake and I send in Dippy. Floof takes out Ductrio with Heatwave and Dippy destroys Skarmory with a Kamehameha. She sends in Empoleon and Scissor and Ice Beams Floof. It's Drank's turn now who brick breaks Empoleon into oblivion. Dippy is destroying again. She sends out Metagross and Reuniclus. Drank gets smashed by Heartpress and 
And I took the P back and chose Lucky and House instead. Lucky is again squashed by Hard Press and House by Psychic. I send in Dippy again, take out Reuniclus with Poland Puff and revive House. I know it's cheesy, but Dippy gets punched with Ice, but Metagross takes itself out with Rock Helmet. So two more left before we have to beat Kieran's but The next one is the fairy type elite 4 member, Lacey. I did her challenge which was a small quiz and now it's time to fight her. She leads with Whimsicott and Granbull and I start with Lex and Waifu. Metagross takes out Granbull, she sends in Mega Man which is destroyed by Slarking's Heavy Slam and Whimsicott gets burped on. She sends out Primarina and fake Waifu. Slacking gets defeated by Alluring Voice and Primarina is finishing Lex off. Next is House and Real Waifu which is sadly defeated by the seal. I sent in Lucky, which is again defeated by the seal. I revived Slacking in the meantime. I know, I know, it's cheese. House is defeated by Fake Wife and now it's the goat's turn. She brings in Excadrill, Terrastalizes and Dippy defeats the imposter. Excadrill defeats Dippy with Love Beam and Slacking finishing the fight with Heavy Slam. Okay, one more left. The fire type, trainer, Crispin. So I decided to hunt for water shiny, but this didn't go well because I got in total three new shinies that went water types. I wanted to get a Sobble, but yeah, see for yourself what I got instead. The coolest one was Charmander. I evolved it right away into an awesome looking black Charizard. After a while, I gave up on finding Sobble and decided to just try to beat him. Okay, Crispin leads with Talonflame and Rotom and I chose Dippy and Slacking. Slacking demolished the Hot Wing and Dippy Hydro pumped the Oven. He sends out Magmorta and Camerupt. Camerupt somehow took out both with Heatwave, so I sent in Waifu and Lucky. Waifu Giga drains Camerupt and Lucky Stone edges Magmorta. Next is Blaziken and Executor. The new Hot Wing Focus Blast Lucky away and I sent in Lizardon for the first time. Which is sent to hell right away, sad. So I sent in house, waifu finishing off Blaziken with Dazzling Gleam, and then the fun begins. Executor was stalling for ages. This is sped up by friggin 3000%. Oh boy, this took such a long time. That was so annoying. But in the end, Dippy finally took him out. Finally. Twice. Drayton came to gratulate me and Kieran joined. He said that he expected me to beat him faster. Sorry that this guy's executor was wasting my time. Ugh. Took me a long time. But it's time now to beat Kieran. So I registered for this fight and while I did, Drayton explained to me that Kieran changed a lot. Registration done and now it's time to beat some sense into this little guy. Okay, Kieran starts off with Dragonite and Politoed. I chose to start with Lex and Dippy. Politoed Ice Beams Dippy and I send in Waifu, who destroys Dragonite. He sends in Incineroar, which Dark Lariats the heck out of Lex. Politoed was taken out and replaced by Porygon Z. I sent in Luck and Porygon went over the top with Hyper Beam. Lucky takes out Kitty Cat with Stone Edge and I send in Drank and he sends in Grimmsnarl. Drank Brick Breaks the Virus Duck and Fake Dippy comes in. Who takes out Lucky? It's Dr. House, who destroys Grimmsnarl. Fake Dippy punches my poor house and Waifu comes back and again destroys everything. I won! And look at this face. That's a face of a loser. They said now that I'm the champ, Kirin is part of the Elite Four and Crispin is out. Sad. <laughs> and on top of that, I'm now the leader of the League Club. Which is a problem since I'm an exchange student, but... Then there was an announcement to go to Briar. Before I went there, I made nice pictures with Kieran, look at those. I went to Briar and she said that she wants to take us to Area 0 to find Terrapagos. And Jita said that dangerous Pokemon are coming from Area 0 and that the Paldea League has no time to deal with that and that's why we have to do it. A bit weird, but okay. Drayton declined, Carmine and Kieran accepted to go to Area 0. I tried to leave, but Jita stopped me. And Rika got angry because I entered the Area 0 before without permission. But now I have the permission. And I got the Indigo Disc. Kieran somehow seems really obsessed with catching Terrapagos. We will see how that's... <laughs> We will see how that will turn out. In Area 0 they asked me if I've been here already and then my puppy jumped out. Briar said that we have to go deeper, so we went to the Laboratory 0. 
And there Kieran showed some emotion and smiled because that we are like secret agents. That's what he said because we had to unlock the door. So I tried but it didn't work. But then the indigo disc was detected and the gate opened. Briar went right away to some documents and we found a lift. We went into this lift, went down and when we arrived Briar once again went to a desk and found a note which said this. So we went deeper to find the treasure and found a giant crystal. Carmine asked me if Coridon can destroy it but Briar was against it. And all of a sudden a Glamora appeared with a weird energy and it rationalized with the stellar type. So I defeated it and the crystal disappeared. Further inside another crystal blocked the way and I saw a Neuvern in the back. So I defeated it, same thing, the crystal disappeared. Rinse and repeat, did some parkour, defeated Sandy Shock and moved on. Last one was a Garnacle that was standing in front of this awesome looking tree. And Kirin said something that everyone depends on me. Cool. We went further in and the terror ops started reacting. Kieran ran away deeper into the cave and there on those giant crystals was a small gem. Kieran tried to take it but couldn't. He told me that my Pokemon are too strong and everyone wants to be my friend and that makes him jealous. Even Ogapon chose me. Um, that's not my problem. <laughs> the gem turned into Terrapagos. Huh, who would have known? And walked towards me. Kieran didn't like it and threw a master ball in it. Now I have to fight him. I defeated him easily and everyone seemed confused why Terrapagos was so weak. And we decided to terrestrialize it. And its true form appeared. It attacked Kieran, but Coridon saved him. He tried to call it back, but the Master Ball broke. <laughs> that never happened before. Weird. Now I have to fight Terrapagos with Carmine. Kieran started blaming himself for what happened. We defeated it and caught Terrapagos in the friend ball. And everyone started crying. We went back and Kieran apologized to me and asked if we can start from zero and be friends with him again. And then the credits roll. We did it, we finished the Indigo Disc with only shiny Pokemon. It was a long journey and it took me a while to finish it. Thanks everyone who supports me and watch until this point and have a nice day.